Hello and welcome to a Nendroid review for Nendroid number 796, Alphonse Elric from Full Metal Alchemist. So a few days ago I did a review for the Ed uh, Nendroid and now it's time for his little slash bigger brother uh, Al. So we're going to take a look at the box and then I'll open it up and we'll take a look inside and other stuff like that. So. Taking a quick look, we've got all the numbers and stuff there, and that is Full Metal Alchemist, or Hagane no Renkin Jutsushi. So, on the side, they always have a kind of um, example kind of images. So we've got Owl looking kind of scared and running away. We've got Owl looking a little bit scared uh, that his, his, the cats that he's been secreting in his body have been found. Uh, we've got his kind of classic pose, the ready to fight pose. Another uh, one of the cats. We got him and Ed, who, uh, as I mentioned, I've already opened. We've got a a, a shot from behind. Um, I mean, I know he he you know he definitely went through some um, you know sort of morally questioning parts in the uh, series. So I guess that's him, kind of slightly depressed. And then there's him. With his head off, with a blood seal at the back. And what's the top? Oh, cool. So that's sort of... Um, it's kind of a different angle to that, basically. Anyway, I'm going to go open up the box now, and we'll take a look at exactly what comes with it. All right. So, I've opened up the box, and it's time to take a look inside. So, first off, as always, it comes with a base. I've mounted it in the corner because uh, it's a larger base, because he's a larger Nendroid, obviously, but there's no... usually the kind of flat side usually has a central point here, but as you can see, it doesn't because it's a bit bigger. So I'm going to maybe display him kind of crooked on the corner there. I don't know, though. Uh, we'll see. So, we'll take a look at Al himself, and then we'll get on to all the accessories and stuff. So, as always, let's start from the bottom. We've got... Slightly stubby little feet because he is an android, uh, but he does have he does have a range of motions because he can sit down as the pose with the cat. Ooh, uh, oh, never mind. Oh, oh, I see. Sorry, <laughs> I thought I pulled his foot off there. No, um, it doesn't look quite as stubby now. Actually, he was just kind of pushed up for some reason. So we've got his kind of loin cloth thing there. I do like the um, the added detail of the kind of flow of the fabric. Uh, same for the back as well, it's kind of like ruffled, very nice. His armour of course is the iconic bit, like Owl is, you know, well known for his armour. I don't think they've done an android of like, uh, non-armour Owl, sort of like, uh, you know, what his human form looks like, because while well, he's, you know, it's cool and stuff, this is definitely... This is what people are here for, really. So we've got his arms along with the crest on the corner there. Sorry, the light is kind of obscuring it, but you, you can see it there. We've got his uh, his braces and stuff. This is such a cool suit of armour as well. Like, definitely um, very iconic. That's the hole they put the stand in. Again, I like to show Nendroids without this, just so you can see the full, like, back kind of view. He's got his uh, shoulder guard things, which are really cool there. Uh, so his chest does come off, I believe, but I don't know how easy it is to pull off. I will... Ah, hang on. Uh, no. Never mind. I will experiment with that uh, when I'm doing some photos, I think. Uh, also, weirdly, his kind of collar thing is a little bit loose. I think when you replace the head... You kind of put this here as well. Maybe it's meant to move so you can get better range of motion, but I don't know. It's a bit weird. And then up to his face. Man, it is so cool to see this in 3D. Like, I've loved Full Metal Alchemist for years, and I've never owned a physical piece of anything with Al on, especially 3D. And it is just so cool to actually see this. And uh, his... no, it doesn't open up, unfortunately, but, you know, that makes sense. It's kind of moulded that way. And at the back, we do have his kind of, like, ribbon again, which is in motion. Very cool. And, um, yeah, overall, this is just... it's such a cool thing. I love the uh, paint finish as well. Much like Ed's hair, where I was kind of impressed with the detail and stuff of it, 
this is a little bit more... I don't know, it, it's shinier than expected, I think. Uh, I expected it to be a little bit duller, but honestly, I really like how shiny it is because it adds sort of depth to it and stuff. It adds shadows, you know, without needing any paint or anything for it. So, uh, very, very impressed with him there. And no, he's not going to stand up because I've... There you go. Um, so, over to his heads. Now, I will say... The heads aren't super varied. Uh, one of them is kind of embarrassed and blushing. One of them is sad. Um, but they both almost look identical, to be honest. Ad admittedly, there's not many looks you could get with a suit of armor because, like, he's not a he's not a human. He's not expressive. I mean, that is his default look. But I don't know it. It would have been interesting to have maybe sort of something a bit different um but thinking of it i'm not exactly sure what they could have done so uh you know i mean kudos to them for giving two different faces anyway and then we have the hands so they have little uh things sticking out of them that's just to denote where the holes are um same actually at the back of the heads here you pop this out and then you can put his um the ribbon at the back basically so we've got both like palm things, because, um, well, technically, you know, if you if you've seen the series, you know he can technically do um, transmutation via palms, but that's a lot later on. But you know, this is kind of this fighting style kind of thing anyway, so it's nice to have hands. And of course, the highlights are the two cats. So this is the uh, not calico. I can't remember the name. Tiger Stripe? I don't know. Um, this is the orange cat that is meant to sit on Al's leg, kind of sunning itself. It's very cute. I love how detailed this cat is. And then, probably my favourite cat. I think this is the Calico, actually. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Uh, I just love the face. It is such a derpy face. That is... It, it it suits Al so well as well. This is genuinely like one of my favourite pieces of anything. So, right. I'm going to go off now and take some photos of him in various poses and stuff. See where I can get going. And I'll be back to do a wrap up after this montage. All right, I'm back. So I've taken some photos of Al in various poses and I've paired him with his older brother as well. And I've got to say, I am really impressed with the Alphonse Elric Nendroid. Uh, as, as I mentioned, it is really cool finally having a 3D representation of him, seeing the armor in full 3D and everything. It's just, it's really cool. It's, you know, it's the first time I've ever owned like a figure of him. So this is really cool. I did notice whilst like filming, uh, well, sorry, taking photos, that he is, I mean, much like all Nendroid, he is a little bit stumpy and it does feel a little bit weird because I know he's, you know, chibi and deformed and stuff, but his legs feel a little small, but then I'm kind of used to it with Nendroids because their bodies are small but their heads are big. Um, but obviously, I think much bigger and he'd have looked really strange, so it's kind of a compromise. But honestly, he is a chunky boy, and I really like him for that, because all of his parts are... I mean, he's a fairly straightforward Nendroid. There's not a ton of stuff you can change about him, and I kind of like that. He, you know, I mean, the, the, the price point for it to be anywhere similar to a regular Nendroid, they couldn't give you a ton of effect parts, and... Even in the series, to be fair, he doesn't have as many like wild things as Ed does. So it makes sense. Uh, the cats are very cute. I do have one of the cats still in his chest because there's no reason not to. The other one, I did notice, you can kind of fit on his head. Uh, well, you can kind of fit in his head. And also, you can kind of fit it on Ed as well. So, um, 
you know, there's definitely potential for, like, fun, funny things like that. I, yeah, I am really thoroughly impressed. He's really cool. This is how I'm going to display them. I think I may change it up a little bit in, like, a month or two and have him with the cats and maybe Ed getting mad, as he did in the series, whenever Al would inevitably come home with lots of cats in his armour and Ed would get mad at him. But I am really, really pleased with these two. This is a fantastic set. I'm happy I got both of them. As I mentioned in the Ed one, this is a reissue, and I'm not sure if they've reissued since 2020, so it might be a bit pricey at the moment. But the good thing is, they are popular enough. They may get another reprint or whatever. Um, and as with Ed as well, let me know in the comments if you own the Al Nendroid, because... Honestly, I think this is one of my favourite. I really like Ed, but of all my Nendroids, because he's kind of unique as well, and I do generally tend to favour non-human figures and Nendroids and stuff, there's just something cooler about them because they're more interesting and unique, basically. Uh, so yeah, this is definitely... They are going to take pride of place on my Nendroid... Well, shelves now, I've got two of them. But uh, yeah, I thoroughly impressed them. Highly recommend if you do love Alphonse. You know, I got this for like 40 or 50 If you can get it for that price, I would say it's a really, really good purchase. And yeah, that about wraps it up for my Full Metal Alchemist double feature Nendroid special, which I haven't called this video and I'm not going to now because that sounds fucking stupid. Anyway, I will leave you with a playlist of my other Nendroid reviews up here. And I'll let YouTube choose something on the bottom right. And I'll let you get on with it. Thank you guys very much for watching. And until next time, goodbye.